final clinical trials for a coronavirus vaccine developed by AstraZeneca with the University of Oxford has been suspended after one of the trials volunteers fell ill with an unexplained illness. More than 27.7 million people around the world have been diagnosed with COVID-19 and 902 and 100 have died. More than 19.8 million have since recovered from the pandemic. AstraZeneca has said it has voluntarily posed a clinical trial of the vaccine it is developing with the University of Oxford after one of the volunteers developed an unexplained illness. The vaccine has been seen as one of the most promising of those in development. And amid this development, World Health Organization Tendros Admon has stressed again that governments can take concrete steps to tackle COVID-19 even before a vaccine becomes available. This even as the United Nations says, disruption caused to health services because of the pandemic could reverse decades of progress in reducing child mortality and put millions of lives at risk worldwide. Elsewhere, tough new lockdown restrictions on social gatherings across inland are to be announced as British Prime Minister Boris Johnson tries to control a resurgence of coronavirus infections. From September 14th, gatherings will be limited to no more than six people with fines to those who fail to comply. And India has been reporting the world's largest single-day increase in cases for more than a month. Its death toll has also been rising by at least a thousand a day for eight days straight. Meanwhile, Australia's state of Victoria has reported 76 new cases of coronavirus and 11 deaths over the past 24 hours. The state in southeastern Australia has imposed a strict lockdown and curfew in Melbourne to try and bring the disease under control. In the meantime, Brazil has registered more than 4.1 million cases of the virus since the pandemic began, while the official death toll has risen to 127,464, according to ministry data. The Czech Republic has just reported 1,164 new cases of coronavirus. That is the highest number it has reported in a single day and comes as countries around Europe battle a resurgence of the disease. South Korea has now managed to keep coronavirus cases below 200 for a week. Israel has begun a week-long campaign of night curfews and school closures in dozens of towns and neighborhoods with high coronavirus counts, hoping it will help them stem a spike in cases. And South Africa has reported fewer than 1,000 new coronavirus infections, the lowest daily increase in three months, as health authorities warn that a second wave remains a risk. The country is the hardest hit in Africa, registering around half of the continent's more than 1.3 million coronavirus cases. For Channel 1 News, I'm Emily K. Buddy.